You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. Good morning. 94.9 HOM. The morning show is the best. First thing in the morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 27th. It's 610. It's just gross outside right now. It's like walking into swamplands. It's just blech. But it should, once the sun comes up and starts warming stuff up, everything should be okay. Should be a decent day. Do your job, son. <laughs> do your job. Well, not, just sun, do your job. Not time for the sun to wake up yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was up really us. late last night. Um, so Halloween is literally around the corner. It's going to be here and you're going to be like... It's two months away. That's, that's around the corner. <laughs> you got to start planning. Like, you know, Peter Geiger does the big giant uh-huh. uh king size candy bar giveaway yeah. uh up in Lewiston every year and he's been he's been uh, he's so funny he he and I chat a lot and he's been saying you know he's already collecting because he had 6500 king size candy bars last year and he ran out he's going for 8000 this year Whew. one of the biggest streets for trick or treating is summer street in Kennebunk I've never been. Mm-hmm. I've heard of such tales. Oh, my God. That scared the... L- <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Sometimes this machine has a mind of its own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, they shut down that street every year. And the whole... it, it Now, Summer Street is kind of like this Victorian mansion-y kind of really nice, beautiful street in Kennebunk. Mm-hmm. And they shut it down. And kids take over and they decorate these mansions. And I mean, it's like, it's like amazing. And and hundreds of people just crowd this street and go trick-or-treating house to house. And the houses almost have like a friendly competition within themselves for decorating. Well, that's never really been sanctioned by the town. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not like supported, but they do have to. <laughs> you need a permit. <laughs> you don't, need, you don't need a permit, but, you know, they provide, like, extra police and, you know, because they shut down the street. Mm-hmm. So it's not like a sanctioned thing. It's not like the town says, okay, and coming up, we're going to shut this. They just kind of do it, and they, they get people. And, yeah. well, they said, no, we're not going to do that anymore. Yeah. And it was because, and I get this, it's because they talked to some people that live on that street, and they said, you know... Well, so we love kids. We love Halloween. This is but it's much. really hard to not be able to get to your home or mm-hmm. leave your home. Because that, you blocked off the street. Because streets. you blocked off the street. And right. you, even if there's hundreds and hundreds of people on your street, you mm-hmm. can't, you, you're, you're trapped in your house. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, the cost of candy to give all those kids is becoming outrageous to them. And three, most of the people who plan this whole big shindig mm-hmm. have moved. <laughs> wow. So they're they're having a party on the street they used to live on. Right. <laughs> Seriously, people. Hey, this is <laughs> See great. that that used to be my house, that right there. There's a new guy in there. You can't get to it right now cuz the street's closed. So. When, when did Halloween become the new Christmas? Oh, uh, about my, 20 years ago. My we're, God, we're it's, step it's, up, it's, Parsons. It's, but no, for I, some people, Halloween is Christmas. Yeah, for some people, it's me locking the door That's and turning off the calls. lights. That's a What's bigger for you, Halloween or Christmas? This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. And now it's time for your daily distractions. Daily distractions being brought to you by the Bill Dodge Auto Group, home of the money-saving Bill Dodge Rewards Program. When you buy from Bill Dodge, they reward you with perks, points, and benefits, giving discounts and money back to customers. That's the Bill Dodge difference online at BillDodgeAutoGroup.com. So this is kind of amazing. Uh, There was a nine-year-old boy who was reported missing. And a news crew was out in a helicopter going around looking for him. And lo and behold, they actually found some little boy on the roof of a building in Brooklyn. And it fit the description. He was just sitting on a, the family's rooftop in a chair. Hmm. And they called the police who went there. And that was the little boy missing. I, You know, I bet it was like on TV when you go up to the rooftop and the door locks. <laughs> now, Major League Baseball history happened yesterday. Danny Jensen became the first player to play for both teams in a single game. So, at the beginning of the game between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox, it had got postponed due to a rain delay uh, back in June. So they, since then, they've 
the guy that played for the Danny played for Toronto. He was traded to the Boston Red Sox. But when they when they finished the game, he had they ended at him batting. So he had to bat for Toronto in his Red Sox uniform. It was the most crazy thing. And here he is behind the plate in a Red Sox uniform and ready to catch the rest of what was his at bat. Tuning in for a bit of history here. Liner in the center field down for a base hit. So Jansen becomes the first man to get a knock today for the Red Sox. I guess that's fitting with the history he made earlier today. It's his day. So he, yeah, it's he, crazy. And by the way, they've lost to the Blue Jays. I, <laughs> okay, so apparently they'll 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 record anything these days, uh, and that includes a video of many men and women trying a bidet for the very first time. Uh, most didn't know how to activate the water, and they're all very surprised when it does its thing. It seems like an unnecessary splashy car wash experience for your bum. <laughs> This is like a nice little shower without taking a shower. The accuracy is pinpoint. I feel like I need a towel to wipe, not even tissues, because everything's sopping wet. I like, feel like I gave birth to like 18 water balloons. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Giving birth to 18 water balloons. Sign me up. Uh, you are a giant fan of these, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I this still. Is, I wish they were more popular here in the States. I know. Because you're, let me tell you, you're not, so European. Nothing, nothing will get you cleaner than that. <laughs> nothing. You're so European. A, a tech startup called Reflect Orbital is planning to launch a constellation of mirrored satellites into orbit so that they can beam sunlight anywhere on the Earth and sell people sunlight after dark. Are they going to move yeah. these satellites around? That's correct. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's mostly designed for solar farms to keep mm. generating power mm. even when the sun goes down. You can buy this soon. Buy your sunlight coming to a store near you. I give it a month and they go out of business. Oh, my God. No, solar farms are huge. I, I, I understand that, but it just does not seem practical. Channing Tatum hates doing laundry so much that back in 1999 or 2000, he had, quote, the year of the fresh white tea. He wore only brand new t-shirts for the entire year. <laughs> so he didn't have to do laundry. <laughs> what the actual hell? Oh, and by the way, um, if Donald Trump, this is your final distraction. If Donald Trump continues to use the song My Hero at campaigns from the Foo Fighters, the Foo Fighters will donate the royalties to Kamala Harris's campaign. So apparently he's using... This is it? This is it. Okay. This is my hero by Foo Fighters. If you hear this at a Donald Trump rally, Kamala Harris just got some bucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show. <laughs> On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. On the line with us this morning, New Center Maine's Lee Goldberg. Good morning, Lee. Good morning. What's going on? Wow. Is that the sound of back to school that I hear? Fully caffeinated. That's not the sound of a fully caffeinated man. That's the sound of a man who's shipping their kids back to school soon. Lori, don't say that. I'm going to miss my little cherub. And they go, oh. On the bus, and the door doesn't hit them on their way out. <laughs> and they go down the road with the wheels on the bus go round, round and, and round, round and round. And, round. round. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, 9 a.m. becomes drink o'clock. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Are you all done with back-to-school shopping? And do all the kids get new outfits for the first day of school? Second part of that question, yes. First part, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> we should get it done. My guess is pretty much next week at this time by maybe 4 p.m. <laughs> 
Right under the gun. <laughs> Every year we go, this year we're going to go, we're going to be way ahead of it. We're not going to be last minute. And I'm like, okay, well, we're down eight days before we're officially last minute. We're like the one at Target. They're sold out of all the supplies that the kids need. Like you go in there with the list. And all the parents who are not idiots, and there's us. Oh, we need a protractor. Oh, yeah, that box is empty. All right, we need crayons. Oh, no, there's none of those. We need a number seven. No, we can't get any of those. And then my kids are the ones who show up. To, you know, where's your stuff? Yeah, um, so the thing is, uh, it was all sold out because my parents went on Labor Day. <laughs> You have this all planned out. Yes, I do. <laughs> the delay, the disappointment, <laughs> the yelling. On your back-to-school list, do you have to buy things for the class, too, like Kleenex or, or wipes and stuff like that? You don't have to, but I mean, Karen and I always do. I've had kids in the South Portland school system since 2004. <laughs> so I feel fairly obligated with another 20 to go right. to chip in a little bit to help the teachers out. Let me just mark 2044 on the calendar here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Lee Goldberg, we're out of time. <laughs> and Listen. ironically, so am I. Yeah, no kidding. Listen, uh, so next Monday is the big day that you're going to do all your shopping, so we won't be talking to you. So You're do- getting another holiday off? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to chat on Tuesday? With all due respect and love for you, it's my kid's birthday of school. I want to be with them and do all the pictures and all the things. Awesome. So, we'll call you around. It- we'll call you around this time. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. The A-Best window ticket window is now open. We're back at school. There's so much to do. Learn reading and writing. Math and science, too. Gonna make new friends. See my good friends. Back at school is happening next week for most schools in Maine. And uh, as we cram in the last bit of summer, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, <laughs> part of that fun is Fun Town, Splash Town, USA. So that's the last weekend is coming up this weekend for them. And it is the first responders appreciation weekend. You get in free and your immediate family gets 10 bucks off if you are a first responder. But we've got a four-pack of tickets, and Melissa is trying to win these tickets. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. You just have to do a little back-to-school quiz. They're fifth-grade questions, okay? (laughs) Didn't go above, didn't go below. If you can get two out of three fifth-grade questions, you've got this four-pack of combo passes. Are you ready? (laughs) Yes. What is the process of turning water into vapor called, Melissa? The process of very nicely done, correct? It's right in the name. One one more, and you're going. What is the tallest mammal on Earth? The giraffe. That's it. That's the giraffe. (laughs) Woo! Bit of a delay there, Melissa. Where you she going? was sizing up the elephant and the giraffe, wondering. <laughs> and, and going, wait. Kind of felt like a trick question. Yeah. <laughs> no, fifth grade. Not trick, fifth. Hey, congratulations, Melissa. You've got that four-pack of tickets to go to Fun Town Splashdown. And somebody's very excited about that, right? Ariel. Our, she and, is so excited. Is, but is she excited to go back to school? Yeah, she is starting oh. kindergarten. Oh, oh, she's still. Oh, well, she is, yeah. <laughs> wait till third grade. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Melissa, congratulations. Good luck with Back to School and enjoy your weekend at Fun Town Splashdown. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 949 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, and it's time for Don't Judge on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 949 HOM. What did you want to be when you grew up? I accidentally said that uh, Don't Judge was about brown bagging it versus hot lunch. Uh, that's our five calls. <laughs> little preview for you. <laughs> little mind meld over here. Not Obviously not enough coffee for me this morning. Don't Judge is the awesome thing we do that's brought to you by A Best Window. Manufactured in Maine by Maine craftsmen to handle Maine's unique weather. You know, when, you, when you're a kid, you always want to be something. And then... 
what what did you want to be? Like Nabil Namani wanted to be a Superman. <laughs> okay, that's uh, fair. Who wouldn't? You know, who w- wouldn't? I know lots of people who want to be Spider-Man. Keep trying. <laughs> Got to get bit by a radioactive spider first. Lynn on Facebook said, I think what a lot of people feel. I'm 60, and I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, Vicky wanted to be a commercial artist, but unfortunately, that never happened. I wanted to be an artist. I yeah. thought I was a good drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I want to be a game show host. You are not. I You're kind of close. I, 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 got, close. I had a chance to do it locally a couple times. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm an artist. I mean, I've done a charity where I had to draw a cat. You know, so <laughs> I'm, I learned how to draw that turtle. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? That's Don't Judge. Let us know on Facebook on the HOM app or call us up at 800-228-1949. Laura said on Facebook, I'm doing something similar to what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wanted to be a special ed teacher, but now I'm a PCA for a wonderful family and their special needs son. And and have been doing it for almost 10 years. Well, that's super nice. cool. I wonder how close to Superman to Beale is. Uh, Ginger <laughs> says, just what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm a people person. Retail work. Love people. Just the opposite of Jeff Parsons. <laughs> honest to God. That is I amazing. I like certain people. Lori wanted to, and Lori does spell her name correctly, L-O-R-I. She wanted to be happy and loved. Are you? <laughs> and Matt out of Phillips wanted to be an astronaut. Turns out I did manage to be out of this world, but I only made it to eccentric and never left the ground. <laughs> oh, Matt. All right, what is it for you? What did you want to be when you grew up? 800-228-1949. Don't judge. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. Five calls says it all on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. Back to school, back to school. All right, what are you? Are you a brown paper bag family or a hot lunch family? I didn't have a choice when I was a kid because parents I didn't have a that, choice. Right? What it, were you? It was uh, it, <laughs> when I started out in kindergarten and elementary school for three years. They would literally ship styrofoam containers from the high school to our school that had your hot lunch. But by the time you got there, it wasn't so hot anymore. <laughs> okay, so you were a hot lunch kid. So yeah. Until uh, high school, where I would buy my own lunch because they had a whole. That's still hot lunch, right? Yeah, you didn't brown. You oh didn't... no! Okay, then yeah, I guess yeah, I'm you were all... a okay. hot lunch kid. So all right. then, okay. Okay. I, yeah. I was a brown paper bag kid, and I just wanted to be a hot lunch kid. That's all I wanted. All I ever wanted. All right, what were you? What is your family like? What were you? What are your kids? It's five calls says it all for back to school. Are you brown bagging it or getting the hot lunch? I just did a story on uh, all the hot lunches that schools have the best ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, it just makes me want to go to school. How did and, you find this out? How did I find? Which I, ones have the best one? I asked. <laughs> <laughs> what school's going to say no? And ours, ours wasn't very good. No, I asked the people. Eight hundred two two eight one nine four nine. Were you a hot lunch bag, a hot lunch kid, or a, a brown bagger? Five calls: brown bag or hot lunch. Hot lunch. Hot lunch. Hot lunch. Uh, what was your favorite one? Um, definitely the uh, what was it? The pizza. <laughs> the square. The day. square pizza. <laughs> yeah, did you have a square pizza? <laughs> no, it was the regular pizza. It was stuffed crust pizza. Oh, high school, stuffed but crust but pizza. You had to have like a you. Yeah, but you had to fill like a whole like dish up with like ranch to make it all just kind of taste great. They, what, they <laughs> open a pizza hut there? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Five calls, brown bag or hot lunch? Hot lunch. Oh, man, it's going to be a clean sweep. I was the only weirdo. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're still the only weirdo. <laughs> True. <laughs> Five calls. Are you brown bag or hot lunch? Well, this is a complicated question Uh-oh. because until third grade, they made us walk home for lunch. They made you walk? Where, where did you go to school? Um, In Mexico, Maine. And they made you leave the lunch, leave the school, go home, eat your lunch, and then come back to school. Yeah, and you had a half hour to do it. (gasps) What is that? All right, may I may I be so bold as to ask how many decades ago this was? I'm sixty two. 
So a few. <laughs> so five. <laughs> five decades ago. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I don't know what to put you as. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I know, because sometimes you probably had a yeah. sandwich. Sometimes you probably had, you know, uh, something in a can. We're just yeah. going to throw this vote out. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but thank you for sharing that horrible experience. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. Five calls says it all. For back to school, were you a brown bag family or a hot lunch family? Hot lunches are sweeping it. 800-228-1949. And no, if they sent you home from your school, it doesn't count. We're going to throw away that vote. Well, it had to be like the 60s or something. You know, everything was crazy then. Okay. Calm down. It was was, was the 70s. All right. (laughs) Not the 60s. She's not that old. She's my age. 800-228-1949. Five calls says it all. Hot lunch. Did you brown bag it? Are you brown bagging it? Or are you a hot lunch kid? I just got to notice. HOM, no audio. (laughs) (laughs) That's where we have to fill. 800-228-1949. Five calls says it all. We are currently leading two votes to nothing Hot lunch. Did is anybody brown bagging it? Here we go. Hi, H O M. Hot lunch or brown bag? Hot lunch. Hot lunch sweeps it. Wow. Now, is that for you or for kids? If you have them. No, that was for me. Do My ha- kid was a mix. So. Oh, like some days you felt like being a real parent and making a lunch, and then some days you're like, here's six bucks, go get it. <laughs> uh, well, he was diabetic, so oh. it was depending on what they had for lunch, oh. whether or not he was going to eat it. Oh, I that, see. Okay, he's going to have something. <laughs> okay. We're and Lori puts her foot in her mouth again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm famous for it. Thank you very much. All right. Well, you clean, you clean sweeped into hot lunch. Everybody in Maine has a hot lunch. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. So, Lori, you didn't grow up here in New England, so I'm guessing you may not be a, a fan of uh, marshmallow fluff. I've actually, I mean, I've had some marshmallow fluff, but I've never really eaten it. Never had a fluff or another? No, that is the, like, New England staple. Yeah, we got to change that. We got to get you to try this sometime. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to love it. If you, were, if you were a kid growing up in New England, you, you all the time, it was fluff or nutters. That was what I had for lunch half the week. I don't get it. What, what, what did you do? What, where did the jam go? <laughs> It's it's, it's no 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 yeah, but that 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 was okay too but I'm telling you the fluff is just amazing but there are five things you might not know especially you <laughs> <laughs> about marshmallow fluff first of all it's made right in Massachusetts has been at the same building since it started a hundred years ago oh my god same family it's kind of like LL Bean the same family still running it and the president today Alan Durkee is the son of John Durkee one of the co-founders of it so it's still Aww. all in the family all this time. Another fun fact you may not know about it is it originally came in a steel can. Oh. You did you, you, <laughs> you open it like a paint can? You, you didn't no, you didn't need a can opener. Okay. It still had a screw top. Oh, okay. But it was it was before plastic and it was before, you know, That's insane. Way back. That's insane. So it came that way. There is uh they haven't changed the logo on it in over 50 years. It still looks like it was created back in the, the 40s and 50s. That's so sweet. And they know, like, hey, this Why? is, this is Why what change you, it? Yeah. This is what you know. Why screw around with it? They have the 16-ounce jar that's in plastic. Mm-hmm. You can, they, and, and Fluff says this on their, their Facebook, not their Facebook page, their website, that you can reuse that for other things. You can, they, they say two recommendations is storing food and freezing things by putting it in that Oh, I've jar. always, always seen just like nuts and bolts in, in, <laughs> right, in, in yeah. somebody's garage. And that's true. There's all kinds of other uses for it. But that's, because it has a lid. It right, has a screw yeah, on lid. It's it very it convenient. Well, I kind of think it kind of snaps on. Uh, oh, snappy. The, the old one did. It's a lid. And here's the best one. <laughs> like the Moxie Festival, there is a fluff festival. Where? And it happens in um, Somerville, Massachusetts. It's happening in a month, a little less than a month from now. And in 2011, Susan Olson, who played Cindy Brady... Went to the Fluff Festival and sold her fluff-inspired art. 
<laughs> what the hell is happening? What? Cindy Brady at the Fluff Festival. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm going to buy some. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. I this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. You were telling me some fun facts about fluff. Yep. And uh, the fluff and nutter. How you're really from New England if you've yeah. had that sandwich. I've never had that Every sandwich. Every kid grew up on it. So um, I got a message uh, on the app from Care Bear who says, Holy, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I liked you. Never had a fluff and nutter? You must try one soon. Start with a half to get your toes wet. <laughs> so, here is my. Here it is. You gonna try one? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'll. I'll make. I'll make you one too. I'll bring in some peanut butter and some fluff and butter. Mm-hmm. Fluff, I guess. Fl- and, fluff, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and I'm assuming that just like Wonder Bread is the bread. Yep, to, that's what, yep. Yeah, you, whatever, right. whatever. Yeah. Don't get any fancy bread. You don't get fancy bread with this. It's no. Just straight up white bread. White bread, peanut butter, fluff. Well, I have to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. I got this poll is so you, Parsons. Yeah. A poll found that the average person only spends five and a half minutes on the phone per day. Oh, easily. Um, only. Now, the most acceptable reasons for calling someone instead of texting include, because you know how you, I'm not really a big phone person, but I spend more than that on the phone. Mm-hmm. And you don't like, I don't think you've ever, the I've only, never the seen The only you. time I pick up a phone is when I'm driving. Okay. So the most acceptable reasons for calling someone instead of texting include a general chat, if they're a good friend, to inform someone of a death or to wish them a happy birthday. Yeah. Other than that. Text me. There's no, yeah, there's no point. There's no point to have a conversation on the phone. Honestly. Human interaction. Yeah, it's just it's right up my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. All right, what did we learn today, Lori Hornis? Well, we learned I was the only weirdo that had to brown bag it. As, you know what? Not only was I weird that I <laughs> that I had a cold lunch, uh, a brown bag lunch, and everybody else got the have the yummy hot lunch. Well, I think I know where you're going with this. But I'm Greek, oh, no, so no, no, no. my dad would make our lunch in the morning, and 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 you know we could even have stuff in like Ziploc bags, like mm-hmm. everybody did. No. Our stuff came wrapped in wax paper. So I would unfurl this <laughs> wax that's paper. For cookies and stuff. No, no, yeah, no, chicken wings, Greek chicken <laughs> wings in wax paper. Nobody wants and, to trade and a you, Twinkie for that. Didn't you have a lunchbox that was like a construction person's lunchbox? <laughs> yeah, that was the best. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought I'd turn out gay? <laughs> This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM.